Hi, I'm going to show you how to log in to Rackham's remote desktop environment, as seen here, using a local ThinLink client. So a ThinLink client, that's a bit fancy. It's a program to, to run ThinLink with. Um, to do so, I follow the UpMax documentation. Uh, I scroll down and I'm going to do the procedure. So just taking a look at the procedures. One, two, three, four, five steps. And now I just go through them. I'll zoom in a bit. Um, install ThinLink. So I have already have done that. And there is an UpMax page on ThinLink as well. And they have an official, they link to the ThinLink official download page. And there you should be able to download ThinLink, uh, whatever operating system you have. So I'm going to allow all the cookies here. And here we have downloads for Windows, Mac, Linux. Uh, so that's that should hopefully suit your need. Um, back to installing ThinLink. So sure, sure, sure. We are, I have done that. If I do, if I type ThinLink, you already see it pop up here. So I have it installed. Um, and now we need to start it. All right. Uh, ThinLink. There it is. ThinLink client. You see, it's really called ThinLink client. Set the name to Rackham dash gui dash upmax.uu.se note this dot is just the period at the end of the sentence so don't add that one there copy paste it username my username is richel and my password is my upmax password so i'm going to type it now i won't share this with you like you should not either uh, there uh, so that failed. Let's try it again. And now it works. Um, so that's quite dull. I immediately got into ThinLink. So I already used it, obviously. If you don't have this, you get like a welcome dialog, which looks a bit like this. It says ThinLink profile chooser. It says welcome. You can click forward. And then you need to need to select a thin link profile and there are like three actually four desktop environments you can use i'll show you here the picture yeah so this is how it looks like the thin link profile and here's the gnome here's gnome kde and xfce and it's the default is xfce that's the one i'm using uh, you can use gnome too but don't use this one don't use that one use gnome or xfce um and then after you've done that, you're in. So this is how it looked like on the page. For me, it looks like this. And now I can do whatever I want with ThinLink. All right. This was my demonstration on log, how to log in to Rackham's remote desktop environment using a local ThinLink client. I wish you a very good day. Bye.